Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I thought that since I need to repot my oxalis plants, I have two of them. Um, so I have this one and then I also have this one. Um, I would just repot them with you guys. I know that a couple people enjoy repot with me and I mean, I need to do it anyway, so why not film it? So yeah, I have had these for, mm, I would say three months or so. I got these around St. Patrick's Day, actually. Um, that was when, you know, they're out and everybody's selling them. It kind of fits the theme of St. Patrick's Day. Um, you can see we've got some little blooms going on here and these kind of grow all over the place. Like you can see here, I always have to be watering them um, because they really need to be repotted. And here are the blooms on this one. They are purple and they're so pretty. Um, but yeah, so I need to repot these and I'm gonna show you. So here is what the roots look like, and I'm not sure how well you can see this, but it is definitely in need of being repotted. I have never repotted these, and I don't really want to disturb the root system too bad because it is a fragile root system. Um, I also want to learn how to propagate these because I've yet to do that, but I know it's fairly easy. Um, anyways, so I've got my soil already. This is just some recycled soil I'm going to use and I've got my pot, so I'm just gonna go up one size. So you see how this is the old pot and it fits right into the new one I'm going to use and that is how you want to repot your plants. You don't wanna use something way too big um, than what the plant is already used to. And honestly, I need to rinse these out because they are dirty, but Ugh, I'm lazy. Just wanna make sure there's nothing weird inside of here. I think they're clean enough. I do recommend washing and sanitizing your pots before repotting, but um, it's raining outside and I normally would do this type of thing outside just because when you spray it, the dirt flies everywhere. But <clears throat> so I'm not gonna do that today and I wasn't prepared to do it. So, oh well. Um, anyways, it's kind of pretty outside with the rain, right? Um, so let's go ahead and get started with the repotting. So I've already taken the plant out of the pot, obviously, and I'm just going to try and kind of work the soil away a little bit. It is really dry and I would normally take this outside and spray it down with the hose, but like I've already said, it is raining, so I'm not going to be doing that. Um, so I'm just gonna carefully kind of break it away. You don't always have to disturb the root system like this, but I just want it to be able to aerate more and um, I want the roots to be able to find their way through the new soil a little bit better. Cause there is some thicker roots down here. Ew, I've never actually um, repotted these before so I don't know like what it looks like but I don't know if you can see this I'll try and I'll try and take a better video of it these are all those little bulb type things that I was trying to show you it was hard to show you up close but um there's so many of them from the purple one and from the green one but um this is like a I know that these are um bulbs they're grown from like bulbs or whatever um I think I could be totally wrong, but they do have a bunch of these little things in there. So I'm assuming, honestly, I feel like I am actually breaking the root system a little bit too much, but um, there is some thick roots down here as well, if you can see those. So I don't know. I think that once it is in a better pot, it will be happier and I won't have to water it like every few days. I could separate this plant and um, pot a few of them separately, which I might do just to see what happens. Because this plant, it has grown very fast for me. Um, I am constantly picking off dead leaves off of it though, I have noticed. Um, I just accidentally broke that off. So here is the little root system and I don't know, I'm gonna plant this one up separately in like its own little pot. I could do that with a bunch of these. Oh my gosh, you guys, this might be turning into a different type of 
repotting video than what I anticipated. <laughs> Just because every time I start to repot a plant, I realize, ooh, I can make this into multiple plants, and then that's what I end up doing. Oh wow, so there's a bunch of these little um, uh, bulbs. They're not really like bulb shaped though, but um, I'm pretty sure that's what the plant is growing from because I do know that these are that type of plant and they grow from these. So if I repot these, um, there will be more plants that grow from them. So I'm just gonna put those to the side. So it looks to me like um, it was just a bunch of little bulbs planted in a pot and then they grew from there to make it really full and pretty. So here we have another section with a whole bunch of little bulb things in here and a nice thick root system. Um, so it actually is coming apart. Alrighty. That's not cool, I found a bug. Ew, I found like a little millipede in here. <gasps> There's a bunch of them. Yuck. Really fast, I lost it. Right there. Where? Ew, there's so many. I was banging on a tree one time and I saw a millipede just appear out. Usually ants go in trees. Yuck. Super yuck. I know. Bunch of them. Oh god. Please don't let there be millipedes in my room. There's not. Let's go flush that. <laughs> okay, so I found like a family of millipedes in here and I'm a little grossed out now. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't even want the plant anymore. <laughs> I really don't know what to do. This is one of the cons to having house plants you guys bugs pests and all that stuff you never know what is lurking in these things and you know what <clears throat> this purple plant came from a nursery that had an infestation of mealybugs but i checked this plant over and over and over and i think this one was actually indoors in the nursery so it wasn't with the plants with all the mealybugs so that is why i ended up getting it you know, like killing the millipedes as I see them. Um, so yeah, I don't know if this came from the nursery or what. I'm assuming so just because I have not repotted this plant and I have not seen these guys anywhere else in any other plant of mine. So I'm just going to assume that it came straight from the nursery and there was probably eggs in the dirt. Um, so yeah, I don't know what to do. This is why I like to do this outside um, because of how much dirt goes down the sink. But it's raining and I found some little critters crawling in here so I want to go ahead and rinse it all out.
10 out of 10 don't recommend doing this. So the rain kind of stopped and my sink was just not working out. So I'm doing this outside where I wanted to originally. All done. Okay, so I know it's not the most ideal angle, but I'm actually going to tilt the camera down even more, and um, we are going to go ahead and pot up all of these guys. I have everything washed and separated on this little tray. I've got my little bucket of different pot sizes, and we've got our soil. So yeah, let's get started. So I really wanted you guys to be able to see what I have got going on down here. And let's see, I have so many different little pot sizes to choose from. Um, just going to organize them a little bit really quick. Let's see what I've got here. All right. So what I'm going to start by doing is um, probably the purple ones and I'm just going to take um, some of the pieces with these little bulb things attached and I'm going to pot them up. It looks kind of um, sad, but that's because the leaves are very wet and they're all closed up right now. Um, if I wasn't messing with it, they would be all open and reaching for the light.
Okay, so I'm all done repotting all of them up and that was a bit exhausting. There was so many of them and here is the rest. Um, they look pretty sad right now because they need some water and some sunlight. And like I said, I rinsed them off really good. So they're just droopy from the weight of the water on the leaves. Um, but yeah, I think they're really cute and I can't wait to see them flourish. And some of them, they look empty, but I just planted the little bulbs inside here and lightly covered the tops with dirt. And that was all I did. And I'm pretty much done repotting them now. I did not go into this whole repotting situation expecting to repot into so many different little pots, but all I wanted to do was use two pots and just go up a size, but you know, we found the pest and we took care of the problem and hopefully they will be much happier in some fresh soil and yeah, that's all I have to say. Um, that's about it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed hanging out with me while I repotted my oxalis plants and consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future content. I have so much planned for you guys and I have pretty much nothing but time lately just because I'm at home majority of the time. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!